The Stolen Sun by Cornei Tchaikovsky. The sun went strolling in the sky when suddenly a cloud came by. Bunny took a look outside. Oh, how dark it is! He cried. And the magpies on the farm chattered loudly in alarm. They hopped about the hills and plains and shouted to the storks and cranes. Listen, listen, everyone! The crocodiles gobbled up the sun. It got dark as dark can be. Not a thing could people see. He who ventured in the lane was never, never seen again. So the timid little sparrow kept on sobbing in his sorrow. Please, dear sun, come out again. We can't see to peck our grain. And the rabbits wept as they jumped and leapt. Home was still so far away, and so they couldn't see their way. Only in the murky swamp, the pop-eyed lobsters dared to romp. And the wolves beyond the hill howled and growled around their kill. Early, early in the morning, while the land was wrapped in mourning, loud and sharp came rat tat tat. Oh goodness gracious, what was that? Two black sheep were at the gate. Come out, folks, before it's late. Come and fight in hero style and save the sun from the crocodile. But the shaggy folk were mute, afraid to deal with such a brute. Such great teeth, and he weighs a ton. He'll never give us back our son. So they ran to the bear who was lying in his lair. Now, Bruin, there's no time to spare. Come, lazy bones, and stop sucking on your paw. Help us rescue the sun to shine as before. But though he was big and mighty, the bear didn't feel like fighting. He roared and sobbed, and he sobbed and he roared, as he called his cubs from the grassy sword. Oh, children, come back to your poor old father. He wept and he wept, searching farther and farther. And his wife, Mrs. Bear, looked around everywhere, under roots, under stumps, under stones, in despair. Oh, my Eddie, Teddy, and Pronto, where, oh, where have you gone to? Have you fallen into a ditch and drowned, or been torn to bits by a mad stray hound? She wandered all day over marsh and scrub. But there wasn't a trace of a single cub. Only the black owl stared from the wood. When at last, tired out, at her lair she stood. But then Mr. Bunny popped out and began to scold and to shout, "Stop whimpering like a hare! Don't forget you're a bear. Go on, bound the legs and grab him by the scruff of his collar, nab him, bash him up and underneath, tear the sun from his ugly teeth, and as soon as it once more." Shines in heaven as before. All your little ones, all your pretty ones, will come running from afar. Hello, Daddy. Here we are. And the bear he reared, and the bear he roared, and the bear he ran to the river ford, where the crocodile lay with the sun, of course, shining away in his dreadful jaws. The golden sun, the stolen sun. Bruin crept up quietly, and he poked him lightly. Listen here, you ugly crook! Give us back that sun you took, or I'll take you by the scruff and I'll pound you into snuff. Yes, I'll teach you how to steal. You cross between a toad and eel. All the world's gone upside down, and he won't bother why or how. But all the rascal did was laugh, till he almost split himself in half. Get away, you big baboon, or I'll gobble up the moon. That is just too much to bear. Roared the very angry bear, and his fangs went bare at the enemy. He hauled him up and mauled him up. Now out with the sun, by golly! And the scrawny crocodile soon forgot his awful smile, and he yelled in helpless fright with all his strength and all his might. From his jaw, from his maw, the sun flew high till it reached the sky, and its bright light fell over hill and dell. Welcome, welcome, golden sun! Gladly shouted everyone. All the birds began to wing, and all at once began to sing. And the rabbits started dancing, turning somersaults and prancing on the meadow by the spring. Then the bear cubs came along, singing such a jolly song, and like jolly jolly kittens, tugged and pulled their shaggy dad with their soft brown furry mittens. Shouting, calling dad and mum, "Hello, parents! Here we come!" Every little girl and boy 
every beast just beamed with joy. They thanked old Bruin for what he'd done, and then they all had lots of fun.